quit. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I quit. Based on the weather in Calgary so far, I'd say if you want to be a gold medalist in ski cross, this is about the perfect town to do it. Yeah, ready to leave and definitely pick the right spot. I can kind of feel hypothermia kicking in already, so do you want to head in? Sounds good, I can't feel my face. <laughs> my name is Brady Lehman, I'm from Canada. I was a gold medalist in ski cross at the 2018 Winter Olympics. The moment I knew I won gold, I was feeling just so happy and proud and surprised. <laughs> hitting the wall to me would mean hitting that mental wall with training, whether it's on the hill or in the gym. Ski cross is a really time consuming thing to train for. Brady? Hey. How you doing, Brandon? Good, Brady. Hey. Nice to meet you. Hey, Brady. Hudson? Hey. Nice to meet you, Hudson. Yeah. So what got you into, into the sport? I grew up racing Alpine. Um, my family was totally a ski family. When ski cross got named Olympics, it seemed like the perfect fit. Ski cross is a really reactive and really adaptive sport. No two runs are the same, and yeah. it's really hard to plan a perfect race. Yeah. I think all that plays to your reactiveness on, this, on skis. When you're putting your body through this much training, how do you recover? Just spend time outside as much as I can in the summer, playing golf or yeah, some yoga, or just going out and chilling out in the mountains. Think, are we ready to, to try your schedule, yeah. try your routine? Yeah, let's oh, yeah, go. I'm pretty excited. Yeah, yeah. All right. Definitely. Right let's on. do it. Welcome to the gym, guys. Thank you. This is your second this home? Facility, yeah. Spend lots of time here. We gotta just run through a little bit of linear mobility stuff. Keep that head position, so someone's pulling just a little string from kind of the back of your head. So your head's up and tall, and then your chin's tucked under a little bit. You know, a lot harder than it looks. How much do you feel like this type of warm-up mobility stuff helps? Oh, it's huge. It's, uh, it's big for your mobility and posture and everything. And then it's also huge for injury prevention in the gym. Yeah. When you really take the time to run your body through a good warm up, especially if you're going to be doing kind of maximal effort stuff, oh, that should be good there. <laughs> ski cross, we get into a lot of weird positions on the ski hill. You're in your tuck a lot, you're making big presses off the jumps, so being able to get into some uncomfortable positions is super important. So instead of going over hurdles, we're going to go underneath them. So the big part of this is just trying to get that nice wide step and slide it through. Oh, this is tough. The wider you can make that first step, the easier it's gonna be. Oh, damn, two. Can these can these be electric? So I know you, when you they yeah, do, yeah. they do, they need to be like, you know, cattle, cattle fences. <laughs> Feel the hips opening oh, up a bit. Oh, very much, very much so, yeah. And uh, a lot of it, too, is knowing where your body's at, where the hurdle's at, <sighs> trying to sense it. Yes. Nice work, nice yeah, work. thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I was training today, the focus would be balance under fatigue. So we do different stuff to make yourself tired and then try to activate the balance side of things. So we'll start off on the eccentric trainer. But the key here is to try and let your lower body do the work and keep your upper body quiet. And then if you feel good there, then you get down into a tuck position. And so I'll stay on here for a minute, but really just trying to stay as low as possible and aerodynamic and letting your legs come to you and trying to be soft with your feet. Kind of same idea, like if someone was balancing something on your back, it's not going anywhere. And once you're nice and tired from that, you go and try and get on the slack line. I'll use this guy for a little bit of support. Now that your legs are nice and tired, try to get everything back in focus. Try to keep your eyes a couple meters ahead of where you're going, and just try to try to relax as much as you can on there. It's gonna give you a little bit of a countdown here, and once it's kind of up to speed, try and find that that ski position, keep that upper body and the hips nice and level, and just let the legs work. 
not imagining skiing right now, Brady. I'm just imagining <laughs> surviving. Brady made that look pretty damn graceful. Yeah. And I know you said float, but yeah, your quads, my quads at least, are already on fire. Thought I'm in a Paris for this hit stop. Oh, thank you, Brady. This is where they do the side-by-side -side shot of you doing it and then us doing it. Yeah. And it's a very, that's going to look awkward. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. All right, you ready Definitely for this? Um, am I ready? Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, wow. Oh my God. And the closer you get to the middle, the harder it's gonna get. Oh, what? <laughs> uh. Hey, I'm just trying to relax. All right. <laughs> That's, yeah, just relax. Right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> All right, look fun, you ready? Uh, yeah, I think so. Let's do it. Yeah, there you go. Nice. It's kind of like an active wall sit. <laughs> You're halfway there. Halfway, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh. I'm dying. <laughs> oh, I can do it. I was gonna face plant there. Oh, wow. You made it look so easy. <laughs> yeah, so now you're feeling nice and fresh. Oh yeah. Yeah, I know. The shakes. Gates are kicking in. <laughs> keep, keep them toy. I quit. That was too close for comfort. Yeah. That's a little taste of ski cross training. So what's next? Next, I think we're going to hit the force plates. That hit sounds kind of cool. Yeah. Force plate? Yeah. <laughs> kind of looking forward to that one. Maybe I shouldn't be, but. Yeah. <laughs> no, it'll be all right. Okay. You'll okay. make it. Nice. Thanks. <laughs> Ski cross is part of freestyle skiing and is different from other alpine events because there are multiple skiers racing at one time. It was first included in the 2010 Winter Olympics. Each course consists of terrain elements like trees, banks, and jumps. The skiers have to navigate the courses in the fastest time while hitting all of these elements. All right, guys, this is the final challenge for the hitting the wall medal. Oh, yeah. So we're going to do force place challenge. This is Mike. I'm going to tell you a little more about it. Well, welcome to our strength and power laboratory. So what we're going to do with you guys today is just a vertical jump test on the force plates here. It's building anticipation. You're going to jump on my command. Jump okay. as high as you can. Do five jumps. Jump. 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 Buff dude smash. Jump, 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 jump. All right, Brady, you've seen us both. What do you think? I don't know, tough to tell. We'll have to see what the force plates say. This is actually something I do twice a week in my training when I'm here in the summer. It lets us see how the training load is affecting my power output. Last one. And then hopefully we see as the summer training season kind of rolls on, a little bit of a progression in the numbers and start to really see the gains as it translates into something super functional like a vertical jump. I don't know if we'll be as impressed uh, by our own numbers, but you okay. guys ready to find I out? I think so. Who's taking home the hit the wall medal? That's right. Oh yeah. We're ready. Drum roll. All right, the winner of the force plate challenge is Brandon. <laughs> Buff dude number one. I win it. Yes, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Congratulations. Great. Appreciate it. Now that I have you here, Mike, I just I want you to explain how awesome I am through technology. Oh, I'm happy to do it. So if you see here, and as I promised, we wanted to look at the, the peak power that you could produce. And uh, you had 58 watts per kilogram, uh, and Hudson had 54. So it's still rather close. close. Yeah, yeah um, but uh, you know. That's why we that do the science. Bit. That's exactly. why we do the science, yeah. right? You were able to tell that you jumped higher as well. You got some pretty good, uh, pretty good bragging rights for the wow. next one, man. Yeah. <clears throat> Hudson and Brandon were awesome. It was cool to get those dudes into some uncomfortable situations and definitely try to push some things that I know that they hadn't done before. It was cool to see them having a good time with it. I wasn't really knowing what to expect, but once we started going to the training, it was pretty evident that it's gonna be a lot of core stabilization, a lot of mobility, and, and it's a lot harder than it looks and sounds. I'm just glad he didn't take us on the slopes. 
He probably took one glance at us and thought, yeah, I'm probably going to be keeping these guys in the gym today. <laughs> Next time on Hitting the Wall. We're meeting Latelo, a Taekwondo Olympian. Can we keep up? Guess we'll find out. 